Hello everyone, this is Zita from Heartstrings Connection and today I have Charu and Daira as well on the call and we're going to be discussing about the 1212 portal and as well as the new moon energies and seeing how it's facilitating our healing and how important and significant it is, especially on the twin flame journey. So um, yeah, girls, you want to say hi? Hello, hi, hi everyone. Yeah, um, and also I want to thank everyone for the support that we've been receiving for all the love that we uh, receive and every message and comment and mails. Thank you for everything. Thank you for all the love that we receive on an everyday basis and as well as our YouTube channel is almost 100 subscribers and uh, we thank all of you and as well as um, it's like a testimony to be in, uh, started from the scratch and to reach this place. It's uh, it's a beautiful thing. So we thank every one of you and we are very grateful. So today uh, is a very significant day for the 1212 energy as well as the new moon. The number 1212 has the energy of... Um, the twin flame number sync so when you see 1212 it has the energy of the portal which opens for you to align and be whole so being whole and complete in one it's a union energy and as well as if you've been listening uh, to the channelings that we've been receiving on our youtube channel about the different merges that happen the energetic merge and the womb chakra merges and then the physical merge so we've been getting information about the space being open up, opening up in the divine masculine's life as well as the divine feminine's life in order to the union to happen. The divine masculine connection to spirituality is not as much as us because they are needed in the physical so that our connection, the higher connection and higher heart can be grounded into the physical through the divine masculine's energy. So they're exactly where they're supposed to be. And um, irrespective with um, the divine masculine's energy, what I see is that they are in a phase before the bubble phase, the decision phase, when they came forward to talk to us or communicate with us or have the decision whether or not this person is ours or not, isn't it? So that's the phase which was before the physical, before the bubble phase. So that's the phase they are back into. And everything in their world is moving their energy towards us in order to see who the divine feminine is and the beauty in the divine feminine and how we are their queens. So uh, they're realizing that. So everything before, so before for many, many years, a few months for everyone like uh, the twin flame journey was about going within and healing isn't it so it's finding who we are and the connection to who the divine feminine is feminine is uh, who divine feminine on a whole is and what our purpose and journey is and through all of that um, when we were going inner and finding ourselves the divine masculine were going through certain pain certain difficulties which was not because of us that the external factor was either their job or their relationship and everything that had to do or the money and everything that had to do with the surroundings and their own human lives and now um since we've done enough healing since we've uh, gone inside and found what was significant for us uh, the reflection of that on the divine masculine side the pain and the triggers are us so the problem what's happening internally is faced because of us they're constantly reminded who we are and the whales are thin and this is a battle which is happening within themselves whether on understanding who we are the same thing the same phase they were before the bubble phase isn't it so whether to you know associate with a person so the mind when i tap into the mind of the divine masculine collective it's um it's questioning them whether or not this person is the right person you know uh in order to spend my life with and the impact and why am i why i always come back to this person you know and things like that feeling uh the divine feminine as a part of him feeling like um protecting the divine feminine from his hand he feels these uh pain he feels his desire to be with her and he also sees in the external like things are not right for him 
to come forward but the internal fight now is taking place because of the divine feminines uh the internal fight is because of the divine feminine and um which is helping him understand like no matter where he goes no matter how far he goes or who he is with only the divine feminine completes him so we make them whole and uh we are their home so that's the realization which is coming to the divine masculine and when this realization creeps in when this realization comes in and when they have that solid validification within themselves nothing can stop them from coming back to the divine feminine so that's the energy i sense in the divine masculine as well as um our own uh, twin flame journey of my and charu's and uh, daira is reached a um, level like this and as well as like for the divine feminine who is trying to heal um is one thing what i would say is that um to reach the understanding that we've had uh, the downloads that we've received for the divine feminine is to become whole that's that should be the destination that should be um a goal that sh- the process of being in that place of becoming whole within irrespective of what only when you're whole can you attract something so having this beautiful nights of sleep you know dissipating the separation pain um having a sense of peace if um uh, to even smile like i said like you know having a good night sleep without the pain dissipating the pain healing the pain that should be our constant uh, focus on rather than like what's going on the divine masculine side so as you concentrate more on yourself and self healing and uh healing your traumas healing your pain and being in alignment that will bring the divine masculine automatically back um is the download what i'm uh, receiving i'm uh, the divine connected to divine feminine energies right now so it's um i feel the presence of renuka devi kali ma and mother mary goddess isis nefertiti so all the divine feminine energy and also it speaks about what they want me to speak about today is a cosmic heart so cosmic heart is reached so cosmic heart is connected to the universal heart and it is a graduation so as the divine feminine heal their feminine pain the feminine trauma the feminine aspect within us when we heal the pain um according to the divine purpose that we've come down with so everyone has a different purpose with respect to different uh life and contribution but the main purpose is love so as we heal constantly our divine feminine pain we get aligned to the cosmic heart the diamond uh code activation so that's what um uh, it is so when that's onset is when we feel and we sense the divine masculine's returning so it should be a constant every day of healing from within and um healing from within is what i'm hearing healing from within and being whole so as we concentrate more on it and not give energy to either the karmics whether it is in our side of the life or the divine masculine side of life and just giving energy to the pure love the bridge between you and your twin and giving him all your focus rather than your focus fo- focusing on his karmics you know or what he's thinking and being in an energy of what how you want to manifest it being in a full content and a uh, whole state will bring him back to you as well as that connection that the bond which the twin flame has the bond between you and your twin also heals your own traumas your own pain your own physical ascension symptoms so all of that it starts healing when there is love so when you associate your twin with love it keeps um changing you keep healing you become more whole so this cosmic heart um activations are going on and today is a beautiful day as well as the full moon as well as the 1212 portal so 1212 portal is um uh, used so use this portal to feel whole and be love no matter what it's important portal to heal and um it's a beautiful time it's uh, and i feel like the twin flames 
the divine feminine especially we've reached a beautiful uh, place on our journey where we are reaping rewards and um, understanding where we are at is the downloads that i'm receiving and i'm very happy and especially like when we pray when we do any ritual um when we light a candle is always about um thinking about every divine feminine out there because the pain that we go through is not uh, easy it's not easy to understand what we are going through uh, and then to have come this far is just a beautiful journey and only one a twin can understand another divine feminine's struggle and pain and i'm very happy for all of us for all the twin flames and for all the divine feminine to be um for the divine feminine to have reached this place that we've reached and i just want to say that we all are beautiful we all are strong and and we all are warriors we've reached this nice beautiful space and i'm very grateful for the divine for guiding our path and bringing us to this day to see this day for all that we've uh, gone through and i'm very grateful for um the love that we've received and the protection that we've received from uh the divine so um and as well as thank you for everyone who's been supporting us and let's learn more about uh, how to come out of a purge and you know the importance of this day and uh the importance of this day will uh hear from charu the importance of this day and more aspects to uh, this uh hello everyone thank you thank you for all the support that we have received till now uh today uh, like zita has already mentioned a lot about the important downloads of the 12 12 portal uh what i want to add on to this is that uh, we've already put up the twin flame sync of the 12 12 uh, uh number sync and it it only it only says about the alignment and the connection to the source and um uh this uh, uh the the portal that's opening up today will last until the 21st of uh, the december so the numbers again the 12 and the 21 uh the span of this portal that's being opened up right now again uh you know the important observation that we can get is that today starting is the 12 12 portal and it ends on the 12 and the 21st so only when we are whole and content from within in uh we will reach the stage of 1221 which talks about the number sync of uh us intertwining with our twins so it it's only when we are whole from within in and balance our feminine and masculine energies from within in will we be able to attract our twins and um we are stepping into the 2020 and that talks about uh the unions in the physical so it all it all just culminates from now to reach the stage of union in the physical the coming year so this is like a preparation phase starting of the preparation phase for all of that and to add on a little more to this um uh it's just not about the observation in the numbers that we uh, see uh, that we've seen but also in the um uh, full moon that's opened up uh, that's opened up today with the full moon in gemini and sun in sagittarius so the full moon gemini uh, characteristic is basically about the logical practical mind uh, so if many people are feeling the uh, you know the mind coming in between and you know mind diverting you from actually uh, you know giving love to yourself during purge and all of that is basically because of that particular characteristic the moon characteristic on the gemini uh wherein uh mind talks a lot so uh that is one aspect of it and sun and sagittarius is basically sagittarius as we already know is very clear from the sign that it uh, sagittarius is represented it's the horse and it, it basically it, and a bow so it's like uh uh it's like a connection to the higher realms so it's like the sagittarius uh, the gemini which talks about the logical mind and the sagittarius which talks about the higher realms again it's the merge between the 
to uh, the lower and the higher minds that is uh, uh, and grounding it to the physical so it's again it, uh, you know the 12 12 energy 1221 energy the full moon and sagittarius uh, full moon and gemini and sagittarius is all just telling us how we have to be whole and uh the merge that's happening between the higher and the physical uh so at this point in time it will be very it will be very uh nice if we work on our earth star chakra yes. to ground our to ground that purpose that we are receiving from the divine so that that energy is circulated mm. and you know Yes, yeah, yes. Yes. Uh one thing I wanted to add with what Charu said th- that was just beautiful the way that she explained about the lower mind and the higher mind and the grounding. And what I want to say to the divine feminine is what I'm hearing is a very good time to um see where your energies are and like um see what blocks are and facilitate the healing energy right now like ground the energy right now with the earth star chakra so get as much as help is what i'm hearing for example um as well as when we hear messages uh, tap into your own goddess do the self healing isn't it so um, most of us think that it is okay it's our own energy and we do not require any help but that doesn't work that way you have to like be open to the help it's it's like you're calling in for help but then when the help comes you're like no no i have to like you know you're calling in for the divine and the divine comes through and you're like no uh divine you know what like i i have to get connected to my own goddess so there is a slight miscommunication what's happening with the divine feminines right now but be open to healing modalities be open to start seeking help and is the energy if you want to like speed on your um healing process and being open to uh, you know if you want more clarity be open to the um help and help will uh, come past it uh, come uh, through to you in various forms and wherever you you know you feel comfortable please be open to help for example uh, use all the healing tools uh, from crystals or going out to the ocean and like be open to you know the free light language when a healer is healing something you know like be open to the light language be open to the channel prayers be open to um reiki be open just be open to help so that the help will find you you know so especially uh, if you're not very connected to the higher consciousness it's the right time to get advice and seek advice with anyone you resonate with it's very important to understand especially at this time when you get more clarity where you are it, it uplifts your energy you kind of like know exactly where you're going it, it's like going to a, a doctor if you have you know something going on when you know that it's a flu or it's you know it's very important to know where your energies are in order for you to open up so it's very important to start also learning about your twins uh, astrological charts and like you know if you have a dream and you have to decode it try getting as much as help possible with everything so there are so many free things around make use of all of that uh, energies work on your energy meditate use the binaural beats use or be open to help and the help will find you so it's very important at this time to start doing your healing and be very connected meditating and you know keeping your space clean having a ritual place so ritual is basically nothing but enhancing your prayer so read about it learn about it and open a space for it have a high energy space and spend time to know more about yourself especially when the energies are so beautiful and there is a huge portal which is created for your healing it, for, when it is facilitating your healing you can heal 1000 times more when compared to a normal day when you're trying it on your own so be open to help and the help will uh, come to you but uh, charu there was a very beautifully said do you want to speak about kartikeya deepam oh okay uh uh kartikeya deepam is actually a festival that's conducted in the south of india uh especially in the tamil speaking states wherein um uh, it's 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 actually a celebration of the birth of lord uh, balmurugan and uh, uh, he was actually a a a a lord who was born from uh, the constellation the Pala- uh, palades constellation and um, uh, i was just like when i was to go around for uh, uh, you know my walks in the night i used to observe the 
observe the stars and that's when uh, you know a blog was put up on uh, with respect to you know the palades and how um, uh, this month is precisely for the celebration of lord morgan's uh, victory over the evil tarakasuran that uh, he uh, demolished uh, for the peace uh, for the peace so at this point at this uh, at, and this happened this this the, uh, he the war was uh, waged and this fight had ended during the full moon so that's why today is celebrated as the kartike deepam and um, this day is celebrated wherein we uh, light all the the, uh, the candles and the houses are lit up everywhere just to just to celebrate the light over the dark um mm-hmm. uh, so yeah so i'll all. just explain uh, more into it the energy behind the celebration the energy behind the celebration is the 1212 portal so whether we understand it or not and just before the call me charu and dairo were just speaking whether we understand whether we you know one is connected to higher consciousness and feeling the energy like i'm able to feel them or we just like we all the same like um, we and any other person we all are connected to all the twins the twins and everyone else are connected to the same portal the same energy and it's just beautiful and and what uh, charu is saying is a celebration so which is passed on to us by our ancestors to know the importance of this full moon and the 12th world portal and which goes on till the 21st of december isn't it so it's a portal of celebration it's a portal of love and to use that and the only thing that is required is a conscious effort to know um certain things and giving conscious attention and focus about this beautiful portal itself is a blessing so that's what it is so it's a focus it's a focus and um and a conscious effort and uh, we'll hear more from adira about the conscious effort and i was just like uh, talking um to her before the call about the conscious effort like when we are purging may have when we are in low times and how this conscious effort is conscious effort of being in happiness conscious effort of knowing um everything is energy pulls you up from a lot of things and as well as it's not that easy to purge and come out of it but it's crucial that's the only way of self healing and we learn more about from dira yeah and i was also telling zira earlier that often it often feels like you're climbing a really tough mountain and it's so hard sometimes to like get to that point where you reach feeling good and that's where you won't really want to reach and where we should be reaching or we should constantly be reaching for every day finding peace or like feeling peace constantly so that's how we can be connected to source and the high energies as much as we can by consciously putting the effort to do so and even during these times of the full moon and during these intense times of the portal we can feel like the mind especially with the gemini sign ha- having a huge factor in it we can feel like um so much of resistance in the mind or so much of the beliefs that we have in our minds being on in, in the way of feeling good and and um being the way that we should be feeling and uh a lot of the thoughts will come and you know you're questioning yourself am i really like should i even be feeling this like when something is wrong or something is feeling wrong or you know some we're focusing so much of the wrong when rather it's just in the present moment of you know putting the conscious effort of you know being in the gratitude a uh, conscious effort of trying to feel good and that obviously it's going to take a process but it's it's um along something with um Zita you mentioned about the spine and how if we put more of like the climbing of the mountain we can it funds our uh spine and um builds ourselves up and the more we practice this the more that um we're able to um it becomes a part of you and uh 
that's what I I hope that a lot of us can you know practice this consciously because I think it's really helpful and it's also to know that um, the mind is definitely going to come and um, it's going to question but it's 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 okay and that's important to know that it's okay and to forgive yourself and um, be love and do consciously consciously effort be with conscious effort to be in that energy it's very important just to practice this because a lot of us are not even used to that uh feeling good or and being love we're not used to it we're we're always governed by the mind and the thoughts and all of these things um so it's going to feel weird at first it's going to feel like maybe you are doing something wrong or i don't know but the minds will come through and um, just keep going and uh, keep practicing and keep doing the conscious effort and we can get all we can all get there and that's what I wanted to say that's beautiful that's beautiful how it was said and it's definitely not easy you can never say you know the separation pain like we can never ask a twin we can never ask a divine feminine to just stop crying and like you know pass the pain off and be happy you know like when so i think that was a trigger for us in the beginning when someone would ask us like can you be happy like just forget the past and be happy it's not like very soothing because um if if at all it was that easy we would have been out of it isn't it the pain that the divine feminine go through is not very easy but then like daira said the conscious effort the conscious effort and reminding conscious effort by what i mean is like our physical body our physical brain of our thoughts using them to consciously keep reminding yourself that everything is energy and when you're in good energy good things come by and if your low vibration energy doesn't take us anywhere though no matter how difficult it is you know so consciously reminding yourself over and over will start strengthening your energy body and when your cosmic heart is awakened in that time your energy body becomes you wherein everything else becomes light language and there is more peace and bliss and as well as our divine masculines are different so that's a beautiful thing i think in the end that's how it is like once you're so whole and then you you know you've healed your separation pain to an extent and you just feel whole whether they come back or no you know you you just feel uh, happy and whole uh, to and that's what i give thanks to uh, the divine every day is that i'm able to smile because even that was not easy the separation pain wasn't that it's never easy at all but to constantly keep healing ourselves and like you know keep moving forward and knowing the bond the twin flame bond is um for 100% real and we are connected in that uh strange but very beautiful way and to know that they were facilitating our healing and then in divine time um which is now which is like an ongoing phase of the union which is bringing the unions near that we've reached this place and you know there is this divine union and harmonious union with the twins and the love that we share and the bond that we have is just precious and beautiful so we would like to thank everyone for listening and sending you all on light thank you